Hi there, I just received this desoldering station. It's the model ZD985 and um, and I know that David Jones made a video of that already uh, but this is a newer version, uh, at least that's what they say. So uh, I'm not going to do a complete review, I'm just going to take a look at it as it is and uh, see, um, see if there are any changes compared to the previous version. And uh, yeah, it looks like the previous version except it's blue in color and uh, it's actually quite big comes with some little cleaners and some uh, uh, filters and stuff like that and um, yeah there's also a manual and uh, let's, let's just put it together we take out the gun itself uh, looks quite normal and uh, here's the holder and uh, I think Dave was uh, complaining about this holder that it was kind of flimsy and um, the little thing down here I don't know if you can see it, the angle, uh, piece of angle metal here uh, he said it was not very strong so uh, let's just put that in here uh, it's supposed to sit like this oh, and that came out and uh, this one is attached to the soldering station itself uh, the, and it's just three plastic knobs so that's actually not too good um, but anyway it was quite expensive I should say uh, compared to a normal soldering iron and um, yeah I really didn't want to spend that much money but um, I'm doing so many repair videos and uh, all my uh, all the computer stuff that I'm repairing are all old dip ICs so I, uh, yeah, I decided to buy one anyway because uh, I really have to. Uh, I really need it. So uh, yeah, this is a piece of hose. This is where the vacuum is uh, sucked through, if you can say it like that. Um, uh, but anyway, there's a filter down here. Uh, if you can see that, there's a filter here, and uh, this thing just uh, screws in here. Yeah. So, I think that's it. Oh, it's humming away, it's humming away. That is not good. Sounds like the internal, uh, I think it's a switch mode tr transformer. But definitely something is uh, humming in there. Ah, that is junk. Okay, but anyway, does it work? The temperature is going up. If we set it to, uh, this is the set point below here. So uh, let me just set it to, uh, now that is pretty good. Let's set it to 350. And uh, it's getting warm now. Ooh. And it sucks as well. They're not bad, I think. But why that humming? So there's a whine, there's a... Yeah, I don't like that. Let's open it up later, but let's just see if we can desolder something. Let's see if I have an old PCB. I forgot to check what is the maximum temperature we can reach and uh, 480 which is more than enough even for big items big solder and uh, down to 160 but I don't think I'll ever be there I think I'll be working at around 400 degrees I think that is what I normally do and of course you can give it a bit more power um, if you have problem removing something and yeah it's not very fast at increasing the temperature but uh, that's okay and I says wait is over and uh, let's move it out of the way a little bit and I have a little test PCB where I soldered some connectors on one side and I really want to reuse this PCB so um, yeah so for the first time yeah I can use it for something useful
So, let's see. Oh, it fell right out. Brilliant, 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 brilliant. Awesome. I like it. That was good. I didn't really think it would come out that easily. But uh, yeah, really beautiful. So I found this little computer board. Uh, I'm not sure what it's from. It's something I found in the in the in the trash. Um, but yeah, let's just uh, try and sold out one chip from this board, and then uh, maybe solder it back in again. Let's just try and. Um, what can we solder out? Let's just try and desolder one of these dip chips here and see how that works. So uh, yeah, I set it to 350 degrees and uh, unlike David Jones, I don't really care about temperature settings as long as it melts the stuff. Uh, I'm pretty happy with that. So uh, yeah, let's just see. We probably need to tin it first. Uh, most of soldering equipment needs to be tinned. Um, yeah, that works good, and uh, that melts stuff, no problem, I guess, so let's try and remove one chip. And uh, they are coming out very well. Except the one that is connected to ground. Oh, the button on the gun feels a little bit junk. Oh, you really have to, really have to force it. I think. The, the trigger here is not working well. Uh, but so far so good, except the ground. But I need to f fix that that trigger. So everything looks good except one point, uh, the ground point here, and I think I'll just. Try and uh, warm it up. And that's it. Uh, I should be able to get it out now. With a little bit of uh, jiggling about. Yeah, and it's coming out. So yeah, that's not bad. Uh, it actually worked pretty well. So yeah, let's um, open up the soldering station and see what uh, what we got inside. I just soldered the chip back that I just took out and uh, that worked pretty good. Um, but uh, I noticed two things in this machine. One is that um, there's some kind of a noise. Uh, sounds like a switching transformer of a shit quality. And uh, also the trigger in the gun handle here is not working well. You have to really force it uh, to make it uh, contact. Why the hum? Or why the... Yeah, I don't know. It sounds like a transformer switch mode. Switching some mechanical vibration. So there's only one solution to that. If it's a transformer vibrating. Uh, one is to uh, dip it in lacquer, or the other one is just swab it for another one. But okay, since I don't have another one, maybe the lacquer solution is the only solution. Uh, yeah, well, I guess I'll just live with it, uh, but uh, it's kind of annoying. And whoops, what do we got here? We have... Uh, yeah, I haven't watched Dave's video for a while, so um, is there something new? I don't think so. We have a pump here with the motor itself, and maybe that is what is vibrating because it's knocking against the switch mode power supply here as it runs. 
so I guess I'll just put something in between here uh, between these two pieces to stop the vibration from uh, being so obvious uh, anyway we have a switch mode power supply a uh, kind of big one Whoa. Uh, kind of a big one here, I'm not sure how many amp, but um, looks like quite a few. Uh, the weird thing though is that the cable coming out of it is really thin and flimsy. Um, but anyway, uh, there's an earth connection uh, connected to the metal here and connected to the earth of the tip it seems. At least this uh, shield here is earthed. So that is a good thing. And um, let me just ohm the gun itself, uh, see if the tip is now earthed uh, because that could be the difference between the old version and the new one so um, do I have a fluke? Yeah. Uh, there we go it's my fluke uh, here and uh, I don't know whether you can see it but let's just uh, but the beep sound would be okay. So let's just uh, connect one of them. This is the ground here. And let's ohm the tip. And yes, so the tip is now earthed. So that is a really good thing compared to uh, the previous model. And uh, yeah, I'm really happy about that. Very good. So down here we have the PCB and it's basically the same as uh, on the other uh, model. There's a little Atmel. Uh, CPU down here to handle uh, the temperature setting and there's a little board further down with the buttons on it and uh, Apart from that, there's just a few wires going everywhere. Uh, it's a little bit messy, but uh, I think it's uh, good enough and uh, They have actually uh, spent the time using proper JST connectors here and um, and also uh, Gluing them together so they don't come apart. So yeah, I think if it wasn't for all these wires, the construction would actually be uh, quite decent. Let's just open the gun because the trigger is really not working very well. Ah, look at that, these plastic tabs are broken. So I, I take it back, this thing is a pile of shit. These plastic tabs is broken, so this one will just, you'll just push the whole dip switch back, or the whole, um, what do you call this, micro switch. You just push the whole micro switch back when you when you try and press the button there. So uh, tomorrow I'm gonna take it downstairs to the workshop and drill two holes and get some uh, through here and through here and uh, get some metal studs instead of this plastic junk. Yeah, I thought I could recommend it and it probably works well once it works. But uh, this is really not good at all.